So we have now treated more than 700 uh, patients with liver tumors by stereotactic radiofrequency ablation. The difference to conventional radiofrequency ablation is that we use the 3D navigation system for three-dimensional planning of positioning of multiple probes to ablate or to cover the whole tumor with overlapping ablation zones. And this is completely different from the conventional approach by using just one needle, a blade, reposition a blade, a reposition a blade, and hoping that it covers the tumor. And therefore, I am very, very happy to have uh, this CT with the sliding gantry, because with this approach, we need the CT data only three times. We perform a planning CT with an intubated, fixated patient on the table with contrast media. We send the data of the contrast um, enhanced CT to the 3D navigation system. Sometimes we also use MR data or PET data or SPEC data, perform image fusion and use the whole data, multimodal data uh, for the treatment planning of the ablation. After we have planned all these pathways, we use the navigation system to place the needles. We use the navigation system and the aiming device and place all the needles we need. Afterwards, we need a second CT scan, a native CT, where we just check the positions of the needle with respect to the plan. Once we have checked the precise positioning of the needles with respect to our plan with image fusion, we start ablation. And after ablation, we need another uh, contrast enhanced CT to check the ablation zone and to check if the tumor is completely covered by the ablation zone. We use the CT in the other room for just diagnostic scans, but mainly also for interventions like robot assisted placement of uh, needles for periodic infiltrations, facet joint infiltrations, ablation of spinal ganglion, ablation of um, sympathetic ganglion, etc., etc. So we can do many uh, procedures just parallel. The advantage of the sliding gantry is that the patient is in a stable position, so you don't need to transfer the patient with all the intubation stuff, etc., into the gantry. So the patient is stable and the sliding gantry comes from one room to the other and slides over the patient. And that's a very big advantage, especially for the anesthetist.